Yo, what's going on guys? It's Cynical, and today for you guys, got a bit of a guide on the Final Fantasy 15 Platinum demo. Today for you guys, I'm going to be showing you how to get two secret weapons in the demo right at the end of the game, which are actually pretty fun to use, I have to say. And uh, these weapons are relatively hidden, so don't feel bad if you didn't come across them in your first playthrough, because there is a little bit of sort of like a method that you have to go through in order to get these secret weapons. So what you want to do is you want to make your way to the end of the demo, kill the giant, and then once you've killed the giant, you want to make sure that you go to this plate right here, which will then respawn the giant. Of course, he'll be at a higher level, but by this point in time, once you've killed the first giant, you would have unlocked the platinum plates. Now make sure you also have... A I believe at least a hundred crystals or it might even be 300 either way though I would recommend collecting all of the crystals or as much as you can to rack up at least 250 to 300 in order to get the second secret weapon so once you've gone through all of that you want to walk up to the top of the tower and try and get to this balcony now there's many different methods that people have been using to get to this little balcony right here the most common one that you'll probably see people using is people warping to the top of the tower then dropping down from the top of the tower to try and land on the balcony itself. I actually managed to just go to the side of the tower and then manually warp strike over to the balcony itself and then I ended up landing on it. But as you guys can see, once you get to the balcony itself, you'll see two plates right there. And uh, once you step on them, the plates will then grant you two weapons. One is the cross shuriken and the other one is the hero shield. The shuriken is pretty self-explanatory. You throw a massive, freaking, huge, big behemoth shuriken and uh, it does fairly good damage, like 70 to 80 damage per strike. At the end of the combo, you end up chucking two shurikens at uh, whatever enemy you are targeting. The other weapon is the Harrow Shield, which consists of a shield and a sword. It's not too bad, it's a little bit slow. I would prefer just to use the default sword that you're already given. But still to the point, these are two secret weapons, and I think they're pretty damn cool. So, however guys, hopefully you've enjoyed today's video, and until next time, I'll catch you guys later. Peace.